Cleanup is Saturday and Sunday from noon until dusk. Still to come on 6 News at 530, Chelsea Johnson has the latest on consolidation talks for Dubois and Sandy Township. Our severe weather team six forecast. Definitely a hot one out there today, but plenty of sunshine in our first fully dry day in at least a couple of days. So taking a look at our weather eye in Johnstown, pretty nice evening out there. Temperatures on the warmer side, right around 82 degrees, plenty of sunshine and not as humid out there today in Johnstown. Dew points currently into the 50s, but taking a wider view of Doppler 6 satellite and radar, the remnants of Henri now moving well off the New England coast, building in behind it some high pressure, and that's what's giving us our overall pretty pleasant day today. Warm Warmer temperatures, but we are sticking with plenty of sunshine as we head through the rest of this evening. Zooming in a little bit closer, mostly sunny skies, and we're going to keep clear skies with us as we head through the rest of tonight. But looking at today's highs, definitely on the warmer side and well above average. State College in Altoona made it up to 88 degrees today. Bedford, a high of 90. Somerset making it up to 81 degrees. And Clearfield, a high of 86 degrees. So over the next couple of days, going to be very hot and humid. We're going to keep those high temperatures temperatures in the mid to upper 80s, close to 90 in some of those normally warmer spots. Sunshine also going to make a return. We saw plenty of sun today. And then over the next couple of days, we are going to bring back that unsettled pattern with a daily chance for a couple of showers and thunderstorms, but not going to see that all day rain. We are going to see quite a bit of sunshine over the next couple of days. But taking a look at dew points right now, Johnstown really the outlier right now with dew points into the 50s, but surrounding it still pretty muggy out there with dew points in the upper 60s. State College 68, Clearfield dew point at 65, and Indiana a dew point of 64 degrees. And over the next couple of days, we're not going to get too much relief from that humidity. Today, dew points stayed pretty steady in the mid 60s for most of us. Then over the next couple of days, as things become a bit more unsettled, dew points going to stay pretty sticky in the upper 60s to low 70s. Looks like Thursday going to be the worst day in terms of humidity with dew points back into the low 70s. But as we look at future cast, as we head through the rest of tonight, things staying nice and quiet, clear skies as we head through tonight. Going to be another mild one overnight with overnight lows in the upper 60s to near 70. Wednesday by 10 o'clock, already approaching 80 degrees. Then by the afternoon, a mix of sun and clouds, and that's when we'll also see that chance of a couple of pop-up showers and thunderstorms. And that's going to be the start of another unsettled pattern as we head toward the rest of the week. By Thursday afternoon, high temperatures closer to 90, and that chance for a couple of showers and thunderstorms. So as we head through tonight, overnight lows in the upper 60s to near 70, mostly clear, and we could see some patchy fog throughout the night and into tomorrow morning. But looking at our full seven-day forecast, after today, temperature is going to be close to 90 for both Wednesday and Thursday. That chance for some isolated showers and thunderstorms, thunderstorms going to stick with us throughout the entirety of this coming week. But by the start of next week, temperatures back up in the upper 70s and low 80s. I'm Christine Frizzell with a look at big changes on the horizon now that one of the vaccines in this country has been given full FDA approval. The details next.